Hey guys, welcome back to World War Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW, guys, 6 Series BMW, and you need to disconnect transmission line, we will explain, guys, what needs to be done, how to do it with the tool that BMW actually provided installed on the line. And if for some reason you're missing that one because somebody else broke it in the past, we will explain what else you can use, guys. So make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, guys, all the tools and parts that we use, or if you need to buy anything for your BMW 6 Series, check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we buy all our tools and parts from doesn't matter if you have a six or eight cylinder engine the transmission is about the same and the transmission lines are the same guys so we will explain how to do that gasoline diesel engines it will work on all of them another thing guys uh, if you okay let me introduce you to the channel quick every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you let us show you okay okay what we have here now so these are guys okay the transmission lines okay right here you're going to see them in a second perfect and uh, we also guys have a, uh, a channel okay let me show you our main channel guys quick before we start uh, our auto repair guys check this thing out we have helped more than 69 million people and we have so helpful information that can save you guys thousands of dollars so please subscribe and we're constantly putting very helpful content there as well uh, mechanical videos all kind of videos painting and uh, you can learn how to fix your car on your own so now with that being said that's the transmission lines attaching to the transmission cooler here but uh, you will have those designs at multiple locations and uh, what you need to do guys to actually remove them uh, get a penetrating spray wd-40 or anything like that i'll put the link in the description of the video below so check it out once you do that guys okay you clean it spray underneath here between the parts make sure that this plastic piece starts turning freely that means that you don't have any dust and contamination and make sure that you can compress it all the way in what you need to do next grab the hose and move it up and down a few times then push it all the way down while you're pushing it down you need to push that metal plate all the way up in the hose it's going to compress four plates and start twisting a little bit and pulling out and it comes out the hose itself right here and you have guys okay four little bitty metal plates that actually get stuck on that lip now if you're missing that plastic thing what else you can use you can use one of those guys pretty simple it just goes on top of the pipe okay it spreads like that goes on top of the pipe and you'll be using that one to compress the four plates so it will do the job as well but uh it's easier if you use the original BMW 2 that you have installed there. Uh, but if you're missing it, you can do it with those. And we'll put the link, guys, to those in the description of the video below. I'll definitely recommend them to uh, have them, guys, on, for future repairs. Now, uh, when you're ready to install it, it's pretty simple. Lubricate here a little bit because O-ring will be attaching here. Clean all the dust and dirt. And go ahead, install it until it clicks and make sure it doesn't come out loose so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time